our esteemed group would be presenting on the topic cultural diversity and inclusion so we have divided the topic into three part that is northern region southern region and northeast region cultural diversity and inclusion cultural diversity means how we are culturally diverse it acknowledges that our country is divided into different ethnicities tradition religion and values it recognizes the uniqueness and richness of our culture inclusion means taking as a single unit to all these diversities inclusion environment brings us strength into our community it brings a sense of equality reducing stereotypes reducing discrimination and all social norms india being a land of diverse cultures tradition and religion it symbolizes the cultural diversity and inclusion in india cultural diversity and inclusion has contributed to a vibrant and dynamic society festivals like diwali eid lori and christmas are celebrated nationwide exceeding all regional boundaries thank you namaskar har do kosh mein vani aur char kosh mein pani badal jata is a local saying that depicts the diverse culture of india beginning from the peak of india we have the northern region the northern indian culture comprises of culture heritage of eight northern states Northern Indian culture is mainly in Sanatan traditions and custom. Hinduism is the dominant religion here. Other religion that prevails here are Islam, Sikhism, Jainism, Christianity and Buddhism. In this region, Sanskrit and the various Prakrits are thought to have evolved. The most widely spoken language in this region is Hind Hindi. Northern India enjoys other languages like Punjabi, Sindhi, Pahari and other Kashmiri languages. Urdu finds its official status in Delhi, Jammu Kashmir and Uttar Pradesh. A great deal of cultural heritage is encapsulated in its dance, be it Punjabs, Bhangra or Ghumar of Rajasthan. Every form has its own aesthetic value. Wheat is the staple food of northern India, featured in breads. Dal in other dal is another important part of cuisine in this region. Some world famous dishes of uh, this regions are dal bhati of Rajasthan, sarso di saag मक्के दी रोटी ऑफ पंजाब नदर इंडिया इज इट्स ओन हिस्टोरिकल सेंटर ऑफ सेंटर ऑफ मुगल एम्पायर द दिल्ली सल्तनत हैज इट्स ब्रिटिश ब्रिटिश इंडियन एम्पायर इट इंक्लूड्स द हिंदी प्रिमिलेज सेंटर्स ऑफ चार धाम हरिद्वार वाराणसी अयोध्या मथुरा प्रयागराज वैष्णो देवी एंड पुष्कर द सिख गोल्डन टेम्पल एज वेल एज वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज साइट सच एज द नंदा देवी रिजर्व खुजरू टेम्पल्स हिल्स फोर्ट्स ऑफ राजस्थान जंतर मंतर टेम्पल कुतुब मीनार रेड फोर्ट आगरा फोर्ट फतेहपुर सीकरी एंड द ताजमहल राजस्थान इज ए स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया व्हिच इज फेमस फॉर इट्स हॉस्पिटैलिटी इन ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल देयर इन्वॉल्व इन टूरिज्म रिलेटेड जॉब्स राजस्थान इज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट स्पॉट ऑफ टूरिज्म देयर इज ए कस्टम व्हिच राजस्थान पीपल फॉलो द बिलीव इन द गेस्ट एज गॉड्स दे वेलकम एंड ट्रीट देम एज ऑफ ए गॉड देयर इज ए फेमस फोक संग पधारो मारे देश व्हिच सेज द वेलकम टू माय कंट्री In India, there is a slogan "Atithi Deva Bhava," which means "Guest as a God," and this principle is a part of Rajasthan custom and culture. Men traditionally wear kurta, kameez, and sherwani for the upper garment, and for the lower garment includes dhoti, chudidar, and salwar. Pagdi is usually worn around the head to complete the outfit, especially in rural areas. Let's talk. There is a system followed in Rajasthan called Parda system. Rajasthan people religiously follow the dictum of Vedas from birth to death. death they follow parda system females cover their faces with chunni which is also called gungat this is done to give respect to adults females do not do not face unknown people in rajasthan so some famous literature of north medieval north india had a great literature scholars like tulsidas surdas chandbarai whose folks are ramcharitamanas sursagar prithviraj raso respectively contributed to the richness of the literature thank you so i will talk about a child marriage child marriage is a practice that is unfortunately still prevalent in many parts of india including rajasthan according to the data from national family health survey rajasthan has one of the highest rate of child marriage in uh, in the country with around 20% of women who are now in a age of 20 to 24 having been married uh, before the age of 18 the high this is the higher than the national average which is 18% 
the practice is uh, pra uh, particularly common among girls from uh, lower social economical background and rural areas child marriage is illegal in india efforts is being made to raise awareness and address this issue one of the most famous drama based on child marriage uh, the, the drama delivered a very inspirational thought about child marriage so that people can uh, overcome from these mindsets so there here are some stereotypes about north india uh, many of north indian peoples are abused in every sentence many north indians are non uh, vegetarian and that's a myth men from uh, the north india especially those who are from delhi are uh, aggressive and entitled which i don't think so they are uh, that is made uh, only because uh, of some people who are in north india and they do that that's why all the north indian peoples are uh, are being uh, raised by uh, evolve in this based on chetan bhagat best uh, best selling novel on the same name the film two states uh, burst uh, the several hilarious uh, cultural stereotypes throughout its narrative the movie revolves around the stereotypes and cultural differences between north india and south india it portrays north indian as loud and most ex expressive the movie uses food and language as uh, tools to reinforce the, the cultural stereotypes north indian characters are are shown eating parathas butter chicken and speaking in hindi while south indians are shown to eating idli uh, dosa and speaking in tamil while it highlights the need of cultural understanding and acceptance it does contain stereotype but the film also portrays the power of love understanding and uh, compromise uh, in upcoming cultural differences Uh, so lastly i would like to conclude it north india is a very uh, colorful part of india north indian is very rich in culture tradition diverse languages and vibrant custom that having evolved from over centuries its history uh, art form cu uh, cuisines and religious practices contribute to its unique identity and make make it a captivating part of indian culture The southern region of India is known for its rich and diverse culture shaped by centuries of history tradition and various influences. The states which are included in southern region of India are Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Southern region is rich is known for its rich uh, culture in folk tradition including folk music, uh, dance forms and art forms like Kollam. This tradition uh, showcases the vibrant mythology and cultural heritage of the region. This The southern region is deeply religious with a strong uh, presence of Hinduism, Islam and Christianity and other uh, religi uh, religions. Festivals like Pongal, Onam, Diwali and Durga Puja are celebrated with a great enthusiasm. The uh, this involves rituals, music, dance and festing. Festing Sir, southern Indian uh, cuisines is renowned for its uh, distinct flavors, spices and varieties. Rice is staple food and dishes like dosa, idli, sambar, rasam and coconut based curries are popular in this region. Thank you. Languages in southern region. The majority of the people in South India at least speak uh, some of the Dravidian languages that are Telugu, Tamil, Kannada and Malayalam and these are among six classical languages of India. Some states and union territories uh, also recognize you uh, minority language such as dakkani urdu which is speed in tamil nadu and uh, telangana and french in puducherry besides these languages english is also uh, speaks in southern region of india to communicate with people there and now we often come across such uh, stereotypes that uh, that is uh, tamil and telugu languages are same so let's have a look to the clip now cut netra reddy madrasi ho telugu tamil तमिल नहीं तेलुगु हाँ वही तमिल और तेलुगु में कितना फर्क है उतना ही जितना पंजाबी और बिहारी में है अच्छा जी चलू ओ is from uh, chak de india movie and we come across such stereotype because we didn't know much about the culture and the languages because we didn't speak that much so we should not uh, pri the focus on uh, stereotypes or uh, we should not stereotype those languages 
on the basis of what we think we should respect each and every culture and live in harmony thank you the architecture of southern india is a captivating reflection of its rich history culture and religious devotion throughout the ages powerful dynasties have shaped the regions buildings and left their mark the most notable style is dravidian architecture seen in grand temples with tall towers called gopurams these temples are made of materials like stone have incredible sculptures with that depicts gods myths and celestial beings the chola dynasty known for its rules built remarkable temples that like the bridheshwara temple in tanjavur these temples have tall towers and intricate sculptures that showcase the chola chola's architecture artistic and spiritual brilliance the pallava dynasty contributed through their rock cut sculptures like the short temple in mahabalipuram it boasts impressive cravings of granite rocks narrating stories from the past additionally european colonial powers like the british and portuguese influenced the region's architecture cities like chennai pondicherry and kochi display a blend of indian and european styles you will find buildings with gothic and portuguese influences reminding us of our colonial era In a sense the architecture of southern india tells us of stories of its past that invites you to appreciate the craftsmanship spirituality and cultural heritage of the region as you explore be captivated by the intricate de details ancient tales and the sense of devotion that resonates from these architectural wonders the education and learning of southern region the southern region has a strongest emphasis on education with renowned universities education institutions institutions and research centers there is a culture of academic excellence and region has produced notable scholars scientists and intellectuals south uh, india has a vast number of universities colleges and research institutions that offer a diverse range of academic programs cities like chennai bengaluru hyderabad are major education hubs attracting students from all over the country S uh, south uh, india boasts relatively high literacy rates compared to other parts of country uh, states like kerala and tamil nadu has consistently achieved high literacy rate primarily due to their focus on education and investment in human development as per the national statistical office data from uh, 2017 to 18 on state wise literacy rate in the country kerala ranked highest in the list with 96.2% and it have also the highest literacy rate for women at last i would like to conclude overall the culture of the southern region of india is a colorful tapestry of language region arts cuisine and traditions that have evolved over centuries contributing to its unique identity and charm despite having many cultural differences society can effectively and peacefully coexist and they can do this by being open to cooperations building on common values and beliefs and learning to respect the beliefs of other culture so i would like to take few moments to introduce you all the fascinating and culturally diverse region of india that is northeast india nestled in the easternmost part of the country this attractive land is a treasure trove of natural beauty rich history and uh, vibrance of traditions Northeast India is composed of eight states namely Assam, Manipur, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Sikkim and Tripura. Each state has its unique character and charm contributing to the region's incredible diversity. One of the most remarkable aspect of the Northeast India is its stunning landscape from the majestic Himalayas to the loose valleys, dense forest and cascade waterfalls. this uh, this region is a uh, paradise for nature lover so this land is also a home for several national parks including kaziranga national park which is famous for uh, population of one horn rhinos and bhul gaye mai and the kebul lazbao national park the only floating national park in the world that's it thank you north east india is also known for its rich cultural heritage the region is inhabited by a diverse range of indigenous tribes and ethnic communities each with its distinct customs languages and traditional arts the traditional music dance forms and festivals of north east india reflect the vibrant spirit and deep rooted tradition of its people 
Bihu in Assam, Hornwell Festival in Nagaland, and Sanghai Festival in Manipur are just a few examples of the colorful celebration that take place throughout the year. Furthermore, Northeast India is a melting pot of religion and spirituality. Buddhism has a significant presence in the region, with several monasteries and pilgrimage sites attracting devotees around the world. The iconic Rumtek Monastery in Sikkim and the Tavang Monastery in Arunachal Pradesh are re-owned for their architectural splendor and spirituality. However, despite its immense beauty and cultural richness, Northeast India remains uh, relatively unexplored and often overlooked. It is a region that deserves more attention and appreciation for its unique contributions to India's cultural tapestry. In conclusion, Northeast India is a land of breathtaking landscapes, diverse cultures, and fascinating traditions. It's a place where nature, history, and vibrant communities coexist harmoniously. Exploring the hidden gems of this region promises to be a truly enriching and unforgettable experience. So that's all from our side about Northeast India. Thank you. Last, I would like to conclude that Indian cultural diversity is rich and vibrant, a wide range of religious, languages, traditions and customs. It is one of the most diverse countries in the world with a history of coexistence and assimilation of various cultures and over countries. However, challenges related to cultural diversity and inclusion still persist in India. Discrimination based on caste, religious, gender and religious difference can hinder the full re realization of an inclusive society. It is essential to address these challenges by promoting awareness, education and acceptance of diversity as well as by implementing policies and practice that protect right and dignity of all individuals. Overall, Indian cultural diversity is a source of strength and represent the country's heritage. Embracing and respecting the, this diversity while fostering inclusivity can contribute to a more harmonious and progressive society where individuals from all wo walks of life can thrive and contribute to the nation's growth. Thank you.